I'll just be happy with the outcome, whatever it is, you know. I've had great review this season and I'm so pleased with it. It just gives me more uh, encouragement and gives me the confidence to continue with what I'm doing. I worked really hard in this collection. In terms of obstacles, anything and everything, you name it. My children felt like they were not getting enough of my time. Um, financially, it's a huge investment. I know I'm not much of a partner person, but this is so important to me. It's, it's really who I am, so I put everything on the line for this, and I figured if I can't do it, then I think I'll just wither away and die. Michelle's on her way back. Michelle is on her way back. <laughs> LA Fashion Week uh, is, very, is very important in become bigger and bigger. So I am one of the almost unique designers over here because I am on on, on magazine and uh, and whatever on t television. So that is very important uh, to doing uh, Mercedes Fashion Week because it's, uh, it's the, the event of uh, Los Angeles. You know? How are you guys? LRD is based on, on tattoo, the tattoo art, so you, you're always going to see a, a, a tattoo art on a t-shirt. And uh, it's a product, uh, it's not even a product now, it's a lifestyle. Everybody wants to be a part of it. I have basically everybody wearing my clothes, um, Britney Spears to Madonna to Kanye West or Puff Daddy. Uh, uh, and why they are wearing my clothes? Because they love my clothes. Everybody wearing je jeans, everybody wearing a t-shirt, and everybody the weekend going on Starbucks with a trucker hat of my brand. So what I'm doing is, uh, I'm gonna call that street couture. Street couture means the, the, the people uh, starting to grow up and liking fashion. You cannot invest uh, a lot of money in those different uh, big designers. I believe what drives me to be successful is my focus, uh, my dream. And uh, without a dream again, you cannot access to the success. So uh, keep uh, dreaming, you know. Well, as far as making it in LA, I think that a lot of it hinges on celebrities. You know, even if you have a t-shirt company, if you can, you know, get a t-shirt on Paris Hilton and have a paparazzi photograph of her show up, um, that's, you know, can really start your business. I mean, LA Fashion Week is definitely not on par with, uh, you know, the other major fashion weeks in the world um, because it doesn't attract the same number of editors and um, very few buyers, if any, come to the shows in Los Angeles. You have to go to New York to to, um, to really kind of get that, that sort of validation. My personal opinion is that somebody somewhere will, will always look down on somebody else. For example, I have a lot of friends who live in France. So they think that even the celebrities who are on the red carpet in um, LA are just ridiculous, they make fun of them and have no taste. And the dresses that those French designers create for them, from what I am told, are not what they would show to their own um, European market. I think that it's an amazing show and it doesn't matter if it's New York or LA or Milan or Paris and I'm just glad to, to be a part of it.
since I live in LA, I, I wanted to be part of the LA Fashion Week. There's a lot of talents in LA, it just needs to be um, discovered. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really think of LA as such like an innovative fashion kind of mecca, um, which is very disappointing. So I never really look at LA as an inspiration. A lot of us from other countries and our parents from other countries, we try so hard to blend in. And the LA culture is, you know, jeans and t-shirts, and that's what sells. And obviously people want to make money. So I think that's why, um, because people in LA aren't buying all those, you know, high-end things, and they're not looking for really tailored pieces, it's not part of their culture. Whereas in Europe, you know, fashion is part of their culture, and it's part of their history. But I think in LA, it's, it's just not how, it's not part of our lifestyle. You know, if your stuff sells, great. Um, but it's not inspiring. Yeah, you know, I think that's why I'm saying that most of my things that I'm working on are not very commercial, because, you know, we already have, I feel like we already have enough of that. And all those more avant-garde things where people are thinking out of the box, that is what inspired me to do fashion in the first place, and that's what's continuing to inspire me. Anything that you can you think of, you can do it. Um, and I think that's a really inspiring thing, because there's no one to tell you like that's impossible because it is possible. <laughs>